kids walking down 8th Avenue. Seven guys pulled up to me in a yellow van. They started punching me in the face. They started calling me every name in the book. They threatened to kill me. Okay, this t-shirt world kid, world of shirts, whatever the f his name is, is all over my goddamn feed. Every swipe I see this motherfucker either getting yelled at by someone, throwing something on the ground, screaming in the middle of New York City. Where is this guy getting his cash? What is he, just a walking ATM machine? This guy is blowing his money like Oprah Winfrey giving out free f***ing cars. It doesn't make any sense. Not to mention, this motherfucker drinks Sunday to Sunday. Sunday to Sunday. Seven days a week. If there was an eighth day in the week, the motherfucker would be hammered on that eighth day. It doesn't make any sense. How's he doing it? Not to mention, he's like, he's like 90 pounds soaking wet. How the fuck is he drinking this much? I'm actually impressed. It's starting to blow my mind. But I'm telling you something right now, folks. Something terrible. I don't want to say it. But it's brewing. What's up, everyone? Welcome to a brand new video. So TikTok is a pretty obscure... Uh, what am I talking it's one of, what am I talking it's one of the most mainstream websites of all time but on TikTok there are many obscure little avenues and canals and deep valleys that sometimes get uh, bigger on the platform known as TikTok for example today we'll be discussing Josh more commonly referred to as world of t-shirts okay on TikTok He's kind of a big deal. Joshua has over 2.4 million followers on TikTok. The World of T-Shirts Experience East Village Tours are live. And he has a website where you can go check out his uh, tour. Now, take a look at Joshua's account. Look at a few of these thumbnail images for his videos. What do you think his videos are all about, all right? Maybe a young guy having fun, relating to the youth, and that's how he has his 2.4 million followers. Now, look, I believe there are a few people who follow Joshua here on TikTok who genuinely enjoy his videos of him partying, having a fun time. But a majority of people actually do follow Joshua because of his TikTok live, okay? And on his TikTok live, that's where things get pretty pretty fucking crazy, okay? Joshua is an alcoholic, all right? He goes on live almost every night, goes out drinking in New York City. He has a few catchphrases, uh, for example, New York, where he sings the song, check it out. Yeah, yeah, in New York, concrete jungle where dreams are made of, there's nothing you can't do now you're in new york he also has this other one usually used when meeting people where he goes uh what does banned mean i'm banned from tinder yeah he says that to basically everyone even on this random youtube channel where they interview people on the street louis vuitton because i'm banned from the gucci store oh, yep unfortunately i'm banned from there Banned. Banned. He banned. You have been permanently banned. I open Tinder like one does. What does B A N N E D mean? Did you're fucking banned. Banned, but I don't have a guitar or drums. Now, I've known about this character Joshua for about two years now. I think 2021 is this big breakout year where he experienced most of his initial success on YouTube and uh, that's kind of also where the downward spiral began of this young gentleman's life. Now the thing that kind of saddens me about the case of Josh is that it's clear this kid needs help. He's clearly autistic or has some sort of disability and Josh if you're watching this video dude don't sue me okay he's known for he's, <laughs> he's known for his lawsuits where he, just, he threatens to sue people for the craziest shit ever. Get him, get him, get him, get him. Shut the up. I'll sue you for millions of dollars. But I'm just being honest, and this guy definitely needs to be off the streets of New York. I don't know if he has any family or not. I know his mother died very young, which obviously is going to hurt anyone. It's going to definitely deeply affect you, and um, I'm not using that as like an excuse for his actions that we'll get into, because Joshua has done some pretty insane 
uh, criminal shit. Now, this is the part of the video where I have to speculate on his behavior. Um, you know, if I had to say, I think maybe the, um, loss of a loved one very close to you early on, paired with the autism, uh, paired with the TikTok success, I mean, it's, it's just all gonna add together into a big, downward, deep, demented cycle that we're seeing now. Something terrible, I don't want to say it, but it's brewing. And I guarantee you a lot of people aren't familiar with this guy's story. I'm sure that a lot of people just see this guy as like the crazy drunk guy who just has public freakouts on TikTok and they think it's hilarious and you can't really blame those people because TikTok is a very popcorn content platform where you just go on for uh, you know, however long you want to. You get rapid fire videos on your feed and you don't really think much about them. But dude, I took a deep look into Josh and this shit's fucking crazy. He does not just every now and again go out. He goes out and gets drunk to the point of vomiting on himself while recording himself basically every single night. And there's just so many people who take advantage of this guy and they know he has a problem, but oh, this guy's popular, oh, he's funny. So they just sit around and leech off this guy, record him clearly intoxicated, and uh, yeah, it's just pretty fucked up. <laughs> This is the World of T-Shirts experience. In 4K Ultra HD curved monitor, World of T-Shirts, also known as Joshua Block, is an American TikToker for his videos in New York, where he would usually sing the song Empire State of Mind by Alicia Keys. This is all off the wicked Tubia, by the way. But yeah, I mean, we already kind of get it. Uh, Joshua blew up, and then he blew up a school. Yeah, we get it, dude. The rise of Josh's popularity all started in New York City singing that song, Empire State of Mind, with a video posted in March 2021, having over 7 million likes. Instantly catapulting Joshua into online stardom, making him well-known and recognized amongst the TikTok platform and its user base. What set Joshua apart early on was the fact that everyone seemed to realize that he honestly did not care what anyone thought about him, going in public, making a total fool out of himself to any normal person, and just him doing that made him likable enough for people to want to follow him and see what he would do next. His carefree attitude made him very likable to people who saw that first clip that went viral and further boosted his popularity. What also made Joshua a well-known character over the course of time, yes, I called him a character because he kind of is one, but that's his catchphrases, okay? It starts off with the New York singing that, the band on TikTok. You also have, this is me, my city, I run New York City, you know what I'm saying? He has quite a few, they're like Pokemon. However, not all of Joshua's moments were met with applause. On December 30th, 2022, he made controversial remarks about Long Island, expressing his dislike for the place he still calls home. This stirred mixed reactions from his followers. We're burning it. Go to Texas. Yeah, you're that guy. Uh, uh, you, you, you you're that guy, right? Video. You're that guy, though, right? Yeah, yeah, okay, okay. Dude, do your thing, man. Messed up my video. You're good, man. You're good. You're good, you're good, you're good, you're good. Keep him in the video. Another notable incident, although this one earlier on into his career, was on May 28th, 2021 when he was interviewed on the Side Talk New York City account. Side Talk New York City is a company that interviews people in public, usually in New York. They posted a video featuring Joshua claiming that he had been banned from the Gucci store. This video quickly went viral and even inspired a song remix. Oh god, these get so bad. There was another incident here in 2021 in June showing Joshua stomping on a fish. A video surfaced of this. The video sparked obvious outrage amongst his viewer base. I mean, that's just insane. I don't know why he would do that. And uh, Joshua believed the fish was already dead and accused the person who recorded him of setting him up. And due to the fish controversy, Joshua's hotel was allegedly swatted. Now, I'm... Obviously not trying to defend the actions of the swatter or Josh, these are both horrible actions, but I'm assuming people were so mad they thought, you know what, this is really gonna get Josh. Let's put his life at risk. I mean, I, if you're like a fish lover and, and you're a fish animal activist and you think that, you know, an eye for an eye is good, that's your take. I, I don't necessarily agree with that, but regardless, I think earlier on people saw Josh as just someone who wanted to be noticed, someone who wanted to be seen online. And uh, it eventually worked out, and to his detriment, he did a lot of things that are worth being called out. He, you know, and he, it just seems like he always had an excuse for this stuff, too. It's like, oh, I'm being set up, you know? It's like, bro, you killed a fish and you laughed. This guy's insane. He needs help, right? He needs help, but uh, help was not given. 
his following grew and grew and grew to the point where we're at right now in 2023 josh goes out he has a tour he has cameo he has money coming in but just as quickly as the money's coming in it's going right back out to the drinking uh the doing drugs it's insane man i think drugs and drinking can be awesome but i don't think that joshua should be partaking in these actions even the way he's drinking in this video is just unpleasant to look at but yeah i mean that video right there that's his content that is joshua's content and he goes out every single night and does that damn we in the mood 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 Damn, we in the mood. 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 Do you think Josh smashes this guy's flag of Ice Spice? I think he does. The latest of Joshua's controversies is, you know, you could argue if it's a big one or not. I think it's kind of worth noting here in this video. Joshua recently targeted a vehicle by kicking it and was then chased by the vehicle and you can hear him screaming in the background. Obviously, this is after a rough night. Obviously, this is after drinking. And, dude, this guy just needs some help, man. He needs to get off the streets. He needs to get into a loving home with people who actually care about him, not just people who are around him to benefit, you know? You Joshua also responded about the incident later on on his TikTok account. I was walking down 8th Avenue. Seven guys pulled up to me in a yellow van. They started punching me in the face. They started calling me every name in the book. They threatened to kill me. They even tried to run over me with their car. They missed me by just a few inches. I could have died or been paralyzed from the waist down. I can't do this anymore. I live paycheck to paycheck. I don't get paid enough for this shit. For three years, I've been assaulted, harassed. I've been peed on, shit thrown in my face stalked on the street i can't do this anymore joshua seriously needs help and unfortunately it seems like no one's really there in his life right now that could provide him with that help and it, i don't think anyone in the comment section of his videos is trying to help him out at all so it's just kind of a lose-lose like he does not know he has a problem he doesn't think he has a drinking problem he thinks his life is totally fine, although he subsequently complains about his life all the time. He'll flex on his haters and then an hour later go on live and say, Oh, I live paycheck to paycheck. Oh, it's so sad. I don't know. I think this guy just needs Dr. Phil, dude. Leave a like if you guys enjoyed. Subscribe if you're new and goodbye.